And it's uh, also seen some times uh, set just uh, in the last couple of weeks. As we just take our first look at the women's long jump, this is uh, Maronchik Ivanova from Belarus. And the first round, women's long jump, we've got Mahambo in this, Spanovic, Jasmine Sawyers uh, from Great Britain, and Mizuru uh, with Becker Manchuk. All of them uh, performing well this year, including this woman here. That's a decent start. So, Maronchik Ivanova. Seven meter jumper, all the way back in 2012. Goodness me, does not seem such a long time ago. 6.79 in Athens uh, earlier on this year. This is uh, a good, decent start for her, though. 6, 65 in the first round, uh, with uh, just uh, the wind, as uh, we, Tim and I were seeing a little earlier on, just, just moving, following slightly there, plus 1.1. That's a help. So next to go is uh, Ivana Spanovic of Serbia, World Championship bronze medalist in 2013 and 2015. She's had some injury problems. And that looks okay. She is, of course, a seven-meter jumper, one of the biggest European jumpers in history with 7.10, but that was five years ago now. 6.82, her season's best, Spanovic. Didn't really look to quite get the drive off the board. Perfect on the board. She gets good height, doesn't she? She is a lovely technician. World indoor long dump champion from 2018. And 666 for Spanovic, a very, very solid opener indeed. Her season's best, 682, is not far away. Jasmine Soy is a big new person, best for her over in the States in Chula Vista a few weeks ago. Based out there now, in a very tough training group with uh, Lance Perlman and all the big names in that group, but it's certainly paying off for the British athlete. Into the Olympic team, and well, she knows she can now produce the 690 jumps, and you never know, sometimes those are good enough to get you amongst the medals, but uh, just checking here to see whether that was legal, that's why she's uh, watching and waiting. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's the white flag. She's never, never seen anyone so happy to see a, a piece of white cloth waved in the air. Well, we might have a look at that again on the board from uh, Jazz. Oof. That is tight. No wonder they had to look at it. But she jumped superbly at the weekend in uh, Manchester, Steve. Lifted that uh, UK title with 6.75, generating a Fabulous speed on the runway these days. One of the smaller jumpers, of course. And uh, 6.54. So Mihambo in this long jump, the reigning world and European champion. Now, what can she do here, the German? Normally very, very consistent indeed. That looks pretty useful. It's not far shy of seven meters. Well, she opened with a 6.49. Hambo's season's best, 6.92. That was uh, in winning the German championships. Really good height. She's long and rangy. And uh, waiting for that mark to come up. 686 takes the lead or extends her lead I should say. In fact Spanovic had the best of the first round with So we move to the final three of the women's long jump. This is how they've made it through Spanovic uh, right early in the competition producing her best 666. Jasmine Sawyers we saw earlier on 654 was in fourth and Basically, things didn't really change after the, the positions after the first two rounds in terms of the top three athletes, but Veronchik Ivanova did improve uh, to a 6.72 in the final round. So, in second place, Mahambo, we saw earlier on, with a very, very tasty 6.86. Right the, uh, in the second round. So those are the three best jumps, and they are the three women who will now go head-to-head -head live 
in the final three round. Mahambo will be last to go, Moroncic, Ivanova will be second, and first of all, we will be seeing Ivana Spanovic. Well, Tim was saying earlier on that Spanovic has had so many injuries, it's great to see her competing back, and actually in Florence, we had exactly this scenario, and Spanovic ended up winning the competition, uh, beat Mahambo in this final three format, even though Mahambo had the longest jump of the competition, so Spanovic knows how it's done. Metatarsal bone fracture last year to add to all the woes she's had in the previous years, but in Olympic year, Spanovic, the Olympic bronze medalist from five years ago, world indoor champion, jumping well. Now that's a solid start. Does she get the white flag? Shakes her head. She does. Now, a bit behind the board there. But I think it's a good, solid performance, which I think sometimes if you're going third, you can throw everything at it. But she hits the board, she gets a legal jump, and a 661. Might not be good enough, you wouldn't think, with a Mahambo to go. Of course, Mahambo is in approaching her seven meter form could definitely go further but it's the pressure of putting a legal jump in i was going to say Steve, it's this new dynamic that this final three format introduces the additional pressure means the athletes know everything rides on this one jump and that is uh, unique because for many years every jump has had kind of equal status i know that they a particular jump in a series may have more importance because they're chasing a certain mark but they have six opportunities this effectively reduces it to one opportunity Maranchuk Ivanova next to go so 661 to beat now that looked close, didn't it? Is that a white flag? She's not going to beat the 661 either way. She does get the white flag. Just a little look at this. Bronze medalist at the Worlds all the way back in Daegu in 2011. Right on the board, pretty good. Just two, three centimetres behind there. But that 661 for Spanovic will hang on because 658. 6.58 for Moronchuk Ivanova, the Belarus athlete will have to know that she's not going to win. She could come second yet because Mahambo could put in a no jump. And the two of them have to watch now as the German has her opportunity to take the victory. And as I said, Tim, in Florence, she didn't do it. Well, we almost had it, that reversal in the discus earlier, didn't we? And the uh, stall holding on to his lead on countback. Here is the world and European champion many people's favorite to add the Olympic title to that series of goals they like at 686 in round two but here she's chasing 661 and I think she's got it yeah she knows she's done enough gets that white flag yeah she'll be pleased with that you know she, she said she's been having run-up problems this year which are beginning to come together and uh, she changed coaches, despite all of her successes, she changed her coach of 16 years last year. And uh, the plan was, before COVID struck, she was going to move to the US, and that's all been put on hold. So she's been starting to put her season back together in a more consistent way. And you're right, Tim, good enough. 683, that comes up as, so that she's learned from Florence, has produced the jump when she needed it. So your winner there, just a, a flip. Spanovic takes the second spot in the final three round, but the winner, Mahambo, and as Tim was saying, one of the favourites for the gold medal in the Olympics when we get there. Funny thing is, Steve, she gave away 17.